curve oils in Promax can be used to represent our crudes where we have a boiling point curve but we don't have a components list we'd like to use that boiling point curve to generate different cut points for our oil and so to create a curve oil you come here to the Promax ribbon to our oil option and choose edit oils and the first option here is the curve oils we have a separate web tutorial that covers single oils and how those can be used as kind of pseudo components but in this case we're going to illustrate curve oils and so I'm just going to click new and that'll bring up our curve oil window the very first thing I'll do here is just name my curve oil I'll call this crude A you can of course have as many crude oils in a file as you would like and with that name the next thing we'll focus on here is our table of boiling point data so this is where we're going to put in our boiling point assay there's different assay types available. You'll see the default is our TBP curves, but we have these other curves available as well. And so to enter in that assay information, I just come here and click Edit, and that will bring up this window. And a nice tip to know here is you can actually copy data from Excel and put it into, uh, into this table. And so if you have that assay nice and handy in Excel, you can just Control C it there which I have done and then come in here and click control V and that will fill out for you but we just have our volume fractions distilled in the first column and the corresponding temperature in the second column so with that information I can click OK and we'll see that that shows up here there's additional information that you can give Promax and the more information you have available the more accurate this can be but everything else can also be estimated using common correlations and so for example if you have the API gravity or specific gravity maybe you have the bulk molecular weight you could enter in any of those values in and that would be great but if not Promax will use some correlations to do those calculations for you I'm going to come down here and click the apply button and just show you that when we've applied this curve Promax has now estimated our API gravity and our bulk molecular weight. There's some more tabs here under our curve data. You'll see that there's specific gravity information. Again, if you have this information, you could type it in, but Promax has generated this for us. Same thing for molecular weight and a high temperature viscosity and low temperature viscosity. All that information can be correlated or can be user provided if you have that information. Let's go on to our second tab now and show you what else we have here. If I go to my cut points tab, this is where each of those cut points is generated. You'll see here the number of cut points that is set up for us, and the defaults are usually fine, but you can edit the number of cuts that you'd like to see. And then this tells us you know, what percentage of our curve oil is each cut, and then that cut, what its properties are. And so our cuts are found here. The next tab is this light ends tab. And what this tab will do is it will try to include any light ends that we expect to come with our oil. And so for the type of data, there are three option, options available to us. The first one says light ends free. And so if you don't expect any light ends, choosing light ends free will keep any light ends, or they won't put any light ends into your curve oil. The second option is light ends generated, and that's what we have selected now. And what that will do is if you come down here into your species list, if we are to type in any light ends that we expect to see, so maybe we believe there's a little bit of normal butane, if I type that in and click enter, Promax will correlate to estimate how much N butane we would have. Maybe we want to do the same thing with pentane and we'll see that that can be calculated for us as well okay now if you know the amount of light ends that you have you can also just type them in directly and so we can go here to light and supplied and if you knew the actual values for these you could type those in let's say you knew this was 0.01 percent and you knew that you actually did have some pentane maybe 0.1 percent I'll type those in and when I click apply that is going to now update those cut points and the properties associated with them 
The next tab is our correlations tab. And this is a list of each property that's, that's correlated for us with the associated correlations that are available. And so you can try different correlations to get a better match to your results. The next tab is also there's a plots tab here. And what this is just showing, we have the actual data we typed in with the line representing what our cut points result in. And so we can just see that that is a close match. So these plots can be nice to look at as well. But once again, the more information you have, the more information you can put in, and so that's better. But Promax is able to correlate the majority of this information for you. Now that we've created our curve oil, I'll click OK to exit this window, and we'll see it in our list. It's important to also note that we need to now put our oil into our environment if we'd like to use it on this page. So if I come to my active environment, We'll see now on the components list at the very bottom under available oils, we'll see our crude oil. And so I will push that to the right, and it's now in my installed oils. And you may have noticed that it also put butane and pentane into my components list, along with the water that I had already specified in my environment. And so when I click OK, now if I go to my inlet stream here, if I look at its composition, we'll see all those different cut points listed for us. And then if I go to specify this stream, if I want this stream to represent that crude with the, with the cut points and the amount of each cut that we expect, all I have to do is at the very top checks, check this box that says install a previously characterized oil. And then choose my oil from my list. And we can see it now fills in all those values. It has the amount of butane and pentane that I had specified, and then the amount of each cut. And so we can click OK. And now we have our inlet stream set up, and we're ready to run our simulation. And so that's how curve oils are created. I'd also mention that if you're ever looking just for a generic curve oil or a generic crude, we do have an example file called the crude it's called the crude uh, library has a list of common crude so your west texas intermediate etc and so those will have some just generic boiling point data that you could use uh, for your applications as well okay and so those are curve oils and i hope that video really helps